Hello, my name is Dr. Ann Dapper Woods, and I'm the Chief Nurse of Walters Clore Health Learning Research and Practice. And today I'm happy to bring you a new series called From the Desk of the Chief Nurse. And today I have Lisa Bonzel joining me. She's a nurse practitioner as well as our senior clinical editor for Lippincott Nursing Center. So welcome, Lisa. Thanks, Anne. So today we're going to talk about the changing healthcare paradigm and the role of nurse practitioners within the system here in the United States as well as globally. We do know that the biggest challenge we have for any healthcare provider uh, related to healthcare is being able to provide quality healthcare based on evidence that's cost effective. And secondly, to make sure that we can provide access to care to all persons who need it. So Lisa, I want to ask you, with the history of nurse practitioners, how do you think nurse practitioners through their history are well positioned to be leaders in this healthcare system? Well, um, thank you, Anne. So over 50 years ago, Dr. Loretta Ford was a public health nurse and she saw this need in rural communities um, for healthcare services. Mm -hmm. So she thought that nurses were well positioned to, to fill this need and to provide the care. So she thought, let's take nurses give them a little more education, a little more training, and let them practice independently and meet, reach these people in the community. Um, so she partnered with Dr. Henry Silver mm -hmm. and developed the first nurse practitioner program back in 1965. So she integrated this traditional nurse role with advanced medical training and this new healthcare professional emerged, the nurse practitioner, with a focus on illness prevention and health promotion. So that's kind of a quick history of our profession. Today we know how integral NPs are as part of a healthcare team. Um, in 2010, the Institute of Medicine and the Robert Wood Johnson Foundation released the report on the future of nursing, leading change, advancing health. At the same time, the Affordable Care Act was coming into play. Um, so there was a lot happening in healthcare. Now this future of nursing report has four key messages. First. Nurses should practice to the full extent of their education and training. Second, that we need to achieve higher levels of education and training through an improved education system with seamless academic progression. Um, we also should be full partners in healthcare with physicians and other professionals and redesign healthcare in the United States. And we need effective workforce planning and policy making to collect data better mm -hmm. and to um, improve our information infrastructure. So as NPs, we are positioned to make and lead these changes. I absolutely agree with you. I think that between the Affordable Care Act and the future of nursing, and it's certainly with the changing paradigm of healthcare today, we're really well positioned to have a say and to be there where policies are being made. Um, I don't know if you're familiar, but Walter Square has recently partnered with the Nurses on Boards Coalition, which is really an interesting group. They started out in 2014 and really spoke to the idea that nurses have to be present where decisions are being made. And that fits with um, the third tenet of the Future on Nursing report that says we really need to be full partners in, in healthcare along with physicians and anyone else who's making healthcare decisions. So the Nurses on Board Coalition's whole goal is to get 10,000 nurses at seats at the table on boards by 2020. And that's quite a, a huge undertaking, but I think it's something that's really going to change the tenor of healthcare as being delivered. I also think, though, um, nurse practitioners now are having a perfect opportunity to really be the voice of reason in where healthcare is going. And I think it's so important for us to get to know our legislatures and be able to speak to them about health care and what are the things going through our Congress right now, what is, what is going to help patients, what isn't going to help patients. And we also need to make sure that we're practicing based upon our full scope of practice. I think that's equally as important. So Lisa, let me just ask you um, one other question. So based on all these things that are going on with the changes in healthcare, with where nurse practitioners are, are positioned, do you think the nurse practitioner movement is going to continue to grow and are we going to continue to be leaders? Oh, absolutely. We are so well positioned to take on this role um, and we have the opportunities. We have the knowledge, we have the skills, we have the background um, and it 
it wouldn't make sense for us not to take advantage of this opportunity. We're the ones um, providing care. We need to be where decisions are being made. Um, so I absolutely agree. Well, good, good. So thank you today for joining us. Um, I think it's very clear that both of us agree that nurse practitioners are leaders within the healthcare system, and we will continue to be leaders, and we are well positioned to make our mark on the future of healthcare in the United States and globally. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.